Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, so today I'm going to go ahead and do a Hyperledger Fabric 2.2 tutorial. Um, and I'm just going to run through the writing your first application. We'll kind of go through the prerequisites. I'll install all the binaries um, and the Docker images on my system. And then I'll kind of run through the, the main tutorial and talk about some of the main concepts and kind of get you uh, introduced and get you started up and running with um, Hyperledger Fabric 2.2. Uh, so let's get into it. So I'm here on uh, Hyperledger Fabric Read the Docs, um, and you can see I have my uh, Docker desktop um, application running. Uh, so this is really nice, so you can see what images you have installed locally, um, so you can just download Docker. Um, and, and then I just have this uh, desktop app, which has been super nice. So um, basically, in the prerequisites, you know, you gotta make sure you have everything before you um, get going. So you got curl, Docker, and Docker Compose, um, and some extra things for Windows. Once you've got all those things downloaded, um, you're gonna want to go in and uh, go into install samples and binaries and Docker images. Um, so basically, um, the last Fabric release is 2.3. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do 2.2 um, because it's LTS, so that's long-term support, um, and that usually um, is more stable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one. So I'll do, basically, you can just uh, copy and paste this curl command into your terminal, and this will download all the uh, binaries. Um, and so I'm going to change the Fabric ver version here. Um, so I have my uh, YouTube. Um, I can do this, and then I'll just go to 2.2, and I'll keep the Fabric CA version the same. So um, we'll start. You can see now um, in my YouTube uh, tutorial, I have all the uh, Fabric sample repos here. And we're going to be using this uh, Asset Transfer Basic. And you can see that there's, you know, the application code here and then the chain code um, that we're going to install on our uh, containers. So we have both the chain code and the application code here. Um, so it's still taking a little bit of time. Um, and we see we're pulling the images um, or downloading, downloading them. And then if I go into my Docker desktop, I should see all of these as well. So you can see we're slowly getting these images on disk. We have Fabric Peer, um, Orderer. Um, let's see what else we have. I'm going to go through the uh, writing your first application tutorial. Um, and it's basically going to take this asset transfer repository. And we're going to automate a lot of the steps. Um, so. This is kind of a good way to get started, but uh, when you want to build more complex applications, you're going to want to you're going to want to know all the kind of steps that go on uh, in under the hood. So basically, before you begin, you know you need a homebrew, uh, you need uh, npm, you need node. Um, so let me show you kind of once once everything's finished uh, building on my system, I'll show you all my node uh, the versions and everything like that. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to set up a dev environment. Um, so that is going to be creating those Docker containers and um, creating a channel. Um, and then after that, we're going to install and instantiate that uh, chain code within uh, our peers. And then we're going to create an endorsement policy and we're going to approve that endorsement policy. So that endorsement policy is how we actually um, agree on the blocks that will be added to the blockchain. And then we're going to interact uh, basically with the application and we're going to submit transactions to the smart contracts and we'll see the endorsement policy and the consensus um, um, as we s submit transactions. So basically our smart contract is going to um, add blocks to the uh, network. Um, so now we see everything's downloaded. If we look at our Docker desktop, we see we got a lot of different uh, images now. So we have the Fabric CA, and that's the certificate authority that is gonna 
create users um, for our application. So every single user is going to be able to sign their transactions from their certificate that the Fabric CA gave it and only authorized users, so people that have public and private keys from the Fabric CA are able to transact on the network. That's what the permission uh, blockchain network um, idea is, is kind of, that's what that idea is. You need to be, you need to have some sort of um, permission and that's in the form of your um, keys from the Fabric CA. We have the Fabric tools, the peer, the orders, um, CN base, operating system. Um, so that's kind of what we have. So it looks good. Uh, and now I think we're mostly ready to go. We can go into fabric samples. And in here, we're going to go. So I'm just going to follow the tutorial step by step. Um, let me just show you what node I have of node and then npm dash dash version. So node 12 and, and npm uh, 6.14.5. Um, so that's what I have take this part out. Um, so now we're going to launch, we're going to go and go into the test network. Um, and then we're just going to stop. So this is just kind of a way to clean the network. Um, so I'm just going to run this quickly, stopping the network. Um, so we're moving all of these and we're just stopping the network right now. And then after that, we're going to launch the Fabric test network. So it's going to do a lot of things under the hood with this script. Um, and we can kind of go ahead and check the script out. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. 